Hey guys, welcome to Rock and Pop Vinyls, episode 26. We are on the last C record of my personal collection. Of course, it's still clutch. I want to just keep on doing that. Actually, I won't because this is the last clutch record of the series in the C's. And we are on to Book of Bad Decisions. This is their 19, uh, 19, I said 19, 2018 release. This record is absolutely freaking amazing. Yeah, it was a record that uh, took a minute to get a hold of me. Um, kind of surprised by that, really, because um, as you listen to it, um, it, everything's in the same vein of the last four records. Um, a little bit better than Psychic Warfare, in my opinion, but in the same vein as um, Earth Rocker. Um, it's got a little more, a um, couple of quirky songs on here, and. Uh, they don't get really too political on here. Um, this album has some amazing artwork. I love this eagle on the front and then the back here with the book of bag of decisions. Um, but anyway, this is the last in our series of clutch. Probably not the last time you'll see me wearing a clutch t-shirt though. It's always okay to wear a clutch t-shirt, but uh, we're finally at the end of this run and we're going to go ahead and move on into the D's the next episode. Let's go ahead and get on into uh, Clutch, Book of Bad Decisions. I already have it queued up as always and uh, of course we're always on vinyl. Alright, so there was a lot going on this week. Um, I did not do a lot of... Uh, out in the wild, but I did do a out in the wild nonetheless. Um, the heat got a little crazy. I'm not gonna lie, got really crazy. Matter of fact, on day two of uh, hunting, which was actually earlier today, it hit 120 degrees in Phoenix. Um, they're probably not admitting to that, but that's what my car read. That's what my body read. It was hot. So. Uh, out in the wilds are going to come to a screeching halt for pretty much the month of July unless I start really early in the morning and get going but uh, I do have out in the wild and I'll be right back with that guys I am back with out in the wild um, I did like I said didn't go too crazy the heat was just way too much going on 120 I'm telling you it read 120 in my car it was spiking between 115 and 120 it kept going up and down it was just no 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 anyway so I'm done with out in the wild this week I hit two spots we went to Target I say we it was me there's a lot going on Target this week. I was really excited, uh, especially with uh, 4th of July coming up. So I ended up getting their um, um, American History Fox came out. Target ended up getting three exclusives out of the five. The two that are not exclusives are George Washington, Ben Franklin. Those are the commons you can get anywhere. But the other three are strictly Target exclusives. So let's start off right away since we're going to the 4th of July. Anyway, we have Uncle Sam. He is an awesome looking pop. Give a little spin. He's in fantastic shape. Uncle Sam, whole lot of fun. Absolutely. All right, next up we have Abraham Lincoln, another Target exclusive. Big top hat, awesome looking pop. And then we have Rosie the Riveter. That is an awesome looking pop. I may have melted, but I did have a really fun time getting these. So that's those right there. But I wasn't done at Target. Since I was there, Target had the commons as well. So I might as well finish off the entire collection. We have good old Ben Franklin himself with the kite. The key hanging from the kite string. This is a fun series. I really like this. For you history buffs out there, this would be a cool set to pick up. And then we have the one and only George Washington. Now there is a cool um, rides pop, like a deluxe pop with this. It's got George Washington with the boat. 
and um, I haven't seen that anywhere yet, so I'm not really sure if that's out, but I'm definitely going to be on the hunt for that as long as uh, I'm not out there melting like a snow cone in Phoenix, like Robin Williams would say, Mrs. Doubtfire, and that was the case today. All right, and then my last pickup at Spider-Man, another, I mean, Spider-Man Target, it is Spider-Man, another Target exclusive. We have Target's Spider-Man stealth suit with goggles up. I'm not going to lie about this, Pop. This is hands down one of the laziest, laziest excuses for an exclusive Pop I've ever seen. The regular has the goggles down. Target's has the goggles up. Whoopie frickin' do. But I do like this series. I do like exclusives. So I bought it. So the only one I'm missing from this now is MJ and the Spider-Man just clinging from the wall right here on the, with the upgrade suit. Other than that, um, I had none of the... I, I won't buy commons anymore if there is an exclusive of that pop. So I won't I won't end up buying the, uh, the Multiman on here. I do own the Hydro-Man. I talked about that a couple weeks ago. But that was because I just had a weak moment and just bought him when he, you know, hit the floor. So anyway, that's my Target pickup. So just like that, six pops, bam. Target gets me every time. And when they have a good drop like that, especially where I can go in early and get it. All right, so next up is Hot Topic. Hot Topic, I end up picking up finally the last of my Kiss figures. Whoops, I almost dropped there. Spaceman Ace Freely. Um, I'm going to tell you what, man. This was a hard pickup. Not that he's hard to find. To find a spaceman in good freaking condition, it's painstaking. I went through a stack of about 10 of these at Hot Topic. Just pick up, put back, pick up, to find a decent... And even, even then, this is maybe about an 8. Not my normal. Um, but my options were very limited. And I just went ahead and rolled with it. I just wanted to finish the collection. If any of you had another problem finding just good condition Kiss Pops out there, the second wave of Kiss Pops, of course, you know, um, it's not the original first set that came out. But, man, it's just, it's rough, especially this Spaceman. But, uh, um, it hasn't been kind to some Pops lately, man. A lot of damage, a lot of damage. But anyway, that completes my uh, Kiss collection. I'm very happy with this. Um, like I said, it, it's probably about a about an eight. It could be a high eight, nine. It doesn't look horrible. Let's give it a little spin. It's got a couple little corners, but no rips, no tears, no no little dings in the in the front display glass. So we're okay. All right. So that was that one, and then I was I planned on jumping on their uh, three for twenty seven deal that they do at Hot Topic, but they had a restock of this bad boy. The Lion King Hot Topic exclusive mystery box, essentially. I, well, not really. I mean, I know everything that's in it. Um, it's got a big scar in flames, and you got a shot, a one in six shot of getting um, a chase. The chase being with the red flames, and the common being with the green flames. To be honest with you, I will be fine with either one. I actually do think the green one looks better, because in the movie, the flames and the smoke... They were great. It was green. That scene was green. I mean, the red looks really cool, don't get me wrong. They're both fine. So I'll be cool with it either way. So here we go. A little impromptu mystery box. We'll go ahead and open this and see if I get the chase. This is a cool box. It has a couple, uh, it has like, I think it has four items in it. Um, I don't remember offhand. We'll find out right now. So, all right. Let's see what we have here. Haha, ha. I scored the chase. I, well, it looks like the chase. Well, maybe, hold on. Looks like I got the chase. I'm excited. Well, let's first uh, talk about the trinkets that are in here. We have an egg, Lion King, keychain. He's really cool. I really like some of these keychains. I never go out purposely to buy them. I usually end up getting them um, either in a mystery box or if there's like a really good sale on them at the time. So that's cool. Little egg keychain. Let's see what else we have in here. We have a Lion, oh, the Lion King uh, Mystery Mini, even though it's not a Mystery Mini. It tells you right who it is. It looks like it's Zazu, and he's in a, he's caged in ribs of a dead animal. It's 
kind of cool. Alright. And then third we have a... Oh, cool. He's a wobbler. It's a Timon. And he's a vinyl wobbler. Sorry about that glare there, but yeah, he's pretty cool. And I'm sure a lot of you have already seen what's in the contents of this box. It hasn't changed. But uh, I lucked out. I didn't buy multiples and it's uh, I got the chase. There it is. One shot out. And just good luck, you know. I still want the green one, though. So I think I'm going to go on the hunt. Offer up. I'm telling you, offer up. I saw a couple green ones today that were uh, minus uh, the rest of the box, and they were about $15. I was just looking. So I may, you know, call somebody up and pick me up a Scar uh, green one just to have him as well. But there it is. Scar with flames. And that is your Hot Topic exclusive Chase Red. It looks in really good shape. All right, I'm excited. That was that was awesome. I mean, I knew I knew I had a one in six chance of getting the uh, chase. I mean, the, the, it wasn't that hard, I guess. But to get it the first one out, you know, very rarely happens. So, all right, cool. So that was an awesome win right there. Cool, cool trip to Hot Topic. All right, let's go ahead and see what else we have. Oh no, that's. That's it. That was the Out in the Wild this week. For some reason, I thought I had more. All right, cool. Well, without, uh, I'm going to have to clean this up and get them filed away in the uh, pop central world behind me. And uh, I've got a mail call coming up. So we'll be back in just a minute. Alright guys, I'm back with uh, the mail call, and we're actually going to continue off where I left off with my Hot Topic out in the wild, with Hot Topic in the mail. Um, I'm kind of laughing at this box right now, because it's got quite a bit of dings on it. And if you remember from my past mail calls with um, Hot Topic, I haven't had a lot of luck. Now why I'm not really smirking a whole lot about this is the reason is, I ordered one item. I know what's in here. It's one pop, unless there's a mistake and they sent me something else in this big old box. There's one pop in here. And I can tell there's some cushioning going on. This pop is probably not damaged. The box is damaged and it's more than enough box for this single pop. But um, let's hope. Hopefully I can keep this little smile on my face. And uh, yeah, so anyway. This hot topic, like I said, I know what's in here, and it's, oh yeah, exactly what I said. We got tons and tons and packet paper, all this box for one sorter. Well, it's better than than them sending it in a freaking bag like they were doing there for a while. All right, so we got a sorter. The sorter looks in good shape. Uh, this is the Hot Topic exclusive Diamond Edition Eeyore. I have a, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing I have a one in six shot at getting a, uh, the Chase. The Chase would be a dark blue Eeyore, um, with the shining glitter and the diamond effect. And the standard core, uh, not core, but I don't want to say common, but standard exclusive Hot Topic Diamond Edition will be a silver Eeyore. I'm going to be happy either way, but maybe uh, my friendly little scar here can rub off and we can get the chase. But we'll see. Alright, so I'm going to open it and show it to you guys first. Ta -da! What do we got? What do we got? Is it the chase? Or is it the common Diamond Edition? See, we have. All right, cool. It, it's a common, no big deal. This is a fun, fun pop. I love my Disney pops. He's awesome looking. He's also in great condition too. All that fuss with that box with all the dings on it, and he came out great. So did the uh, sorter. So my sorter supply is in real good hands right now. I have a lot of these. I'm, I'm sitting on. I don't know how many, but when I start to do um, 
myself, I'm going to be doing... Uh, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to get into the mystery box thing. No, 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 not yet. But I am going to be doing the giveaway thing. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to have plenty of sorters to send you folks with pops here very soon. So there we are, Eeyore. Hot Topic exclusive, Diamond Edition. He is awesome. Awesome. I, I'm, I'm fine that, you know, I mean, it would have been cool. It is what it is, but... Uh, but I was watching the Luau. That's another channel that has a lot of uh, pop openings, mystery boxes. He loves the pops. He's a fun. He's a real fun channel. He does a lot of giveaways. I'm just kind of touching the surface and starting that. Maybe I can team up with him down the road here. We'll see. I'm going to try to touch base with him. But uh, he ended up ordering 12 boxes of these, and uh, it wasn't looking very good there. He he had kind of oddball boxing. I, some of them came in a box of sorters. Other ones just, like, he ended up with one box where he had, like, I, I, I want to say, I only watched the video once, but I want to say that like, six of his 12 were all in this one box, and a lot of them, not a lot of them, I think all six of them had a razor cut across the top, and unfortunately, he went through the entire uh, um, Hot Topic protocol about how uh, they only... Um, will consider a damaged pop, the pop itself that's damaged, if the box is damaged, you're pretty much stuck with it. Um, you've seen videos of mine in the past where I've dealt with that myself. Uh, to be honest with you, you got to fight a little harder with them. I think you got to credit. Um, you can get it, you can honestly get them to swap it out. you got to play, you know, if you're willing to be patient and kind of stand your ground, They'll swap it out. And I think it's really unfortunate that they weren't really listening to him. Not, well, I, mean, I don't know. I didn't hear the conversation. I, I'm assuming. But he bought 12, okay? It's not like the guy wasn't spending money, you know? It's not like he was going to make up a story about all these pops having a box cut on the top. But, long story short, he, he wasn't sure how this was going to pan out with it being a true 1 in 6. It actually ended up being that way. Out of the 12, he ended up getting three Chase Eeyores. So good for him. I mean... That's awesome. So uh, anyway, check that out. The Luau. It's a good channel. It's a fun channel. He likes um, a lot of pops. He likes to do uh, episodes on like sneakers and things. Not really my thing. I'm a Vans guy all the way. Simplest plug for Vans. Anyway. <laughs> so anyway, there's our Eeyore. Okay, so uh, we got three more items on the mail docket here. And we're going to go ahead and we have two Kronos boxes. This is for their June um, Challenger. I've bought several of these this month, and I cannot complain at all. I've got a lot of really cool pops. Nothing, like, astronomical, but I, I no repeats, all new uh, to my collection, and I'm a big fan of Kronos. Uh, I think the only thing with, I think, two episodes ago, I think on episode 24, I did a Kronos damage box. I won't do that ever again. Um, it was a little more damaged than I would like. But I did get some really cool pops out of that. But anyway, here we are. Uh, June is essentially over by the time um, uh, tomorrow's last day of June. So uh, they'll, hopefully they'll have a July challenge box, and I'll jump on those too. So let's go ahead and open these up. Kronos Challenger Mystery Boxes. These are cool. They're $10.99. Um, I think overall I paid, a, I want to say, $30.00 combined with shipping. So in a nutshell, they're both $15 pops regardless of value. So, all right. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. We've got the good, uh, I can fill the bubble wrap. And uh, I'll let you all see what's going on here first. Can't really tell. I think this is the bottom. Okay, this is the bottom. All right, so here we are. I'm not looking yet, not looking yet, not looking, and I'm looking. Oh, I'm excited, sorry. <laughs> I, I really wanted this pop, really, really bad. Man, I jumped down on my skin there. I mean, it's not gonna have a lot of value down the road, but I really wanted it. This is a Harley Quinn previews exclusive. She's got her, uh, I don't know if you can see it, she's standing on a boom box. That is awesome. That is awesome. Thank you, Kronos. That made my night. Haha, <laughs> mad love, it says in the back. 
Um, I was gonna actually go online, start digging for this pop, and just buy it outright. Um, I love it when I will, when this happens, and I, sometimes I'll be out in the wild, and I will actually I now curb my buying when I know I have these mystery boxes at home because I'm waiting to be open, because there might be a chance that it could very well be that pop. Um, so there's certain ones I was staying away from. Um, it was funny, I was at Hot Topic and I was talking to one of the guys that works there. He knows me, they all know me, I walk in, they all say, hey John, how you doing when I walk in? Uh, and we have a lot of chit chat at the pop wall. And I was talking about the uh, live action um, Lion King pops. Uh, they're just hideous, man. They, they really are. I really am trying to find some kind of uh, something to maybe want them in my collection. I just can't. And I was talking to one of the guys, and he goes, dude, they're, they're just wrong. He goes, there's nothing. I said, good. I'm glad I'm not the only one. And I've heard this on other channels. I haven't heard one person say, well, you know, they're great. No, no one likes them. And, uh, so I stayed away from those back when I was doing the um, Chalice, when Chalice had their um, theme mystery boxes where you can pick anime, Disney, or Marvel. And I, I mean, I was like, just all, I don't do anime, so that, boom, out of there. Uh, Disney, I love Disney, but I knew there was a high, high, high chance out there that I was going to end up with those darn live action um, Lion King pops. I just don't. So I went Marvel, and of course I ended up with a bunch of Chrome ones. I have nothing against Chrome ones. It's just that they're not my thing. But I love Marvel. I welcomed in, um, and two out of the three Chromes in that box were repeats. It is what it is. Mystery box. But this is awesome. I love the Harley Quinn. Let's give her a spin. Fantastic. Alright, cool. That's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so we're going to go to Chrono Box number two. I'm on a roll tonight. I got the freaking Chase Scar. I've got the Harley Quinn, which I wanted. Um, this course, I I ordered and knew what it was, and it fantastic shape, and it's Eeyore, and it's Disney, and you can't go wrong. So, yeah. And we got Clutch playing in the background. We're killing it tonight. Killing it, killing it, killing it. Okay. So here we go. Let's hope, let's hope, let's hope. We're on a roll. Okay, so there's the bubble wrap. And get that open, Mr. Kronos. I'm gonna show you guys first. I always look for the head on the side. That's how, okay, okay. That's, that's right side up. There we go, there we go. I'll do a little spin. I don't, I don't know, but. All right, ready and. We were doing so good. I have nothing right now. Kronos. Channel's called Rock and Pop Vinyls. I know it says rocks right there, but n nothing in that rocks. Nothing. Nothing. The pop's in great shape. I, I don't, I don't have any words. I guess I, I can be grateful. It's not one of those. Um, what's that? Um, BTS or whatever those guys are. At least I know who this is. Okay, well, it's a mystery box, and uh, I killed it here. Not so much here. Oi. Okay, all right, all right. I gotta get that. I gotta get that out of my system. All right, so we're gonna move on to the last mail, and we have Poptopia. Um, I am not. I'm gonna tell you what. I was so impressed with Poptopia, my first box last episode. Uh, my um, I got on there to buy this box and I was really concerned because they were going so fast I couldn't keep up. Yet I was able to do one thing about this that I consider right from the start. I haven't opened it, but I got my favorite number, number 23. Anyone who knows me knows that's my favorite number. Um, I was even in a, in a punk band for many years with this number in the name. Um, it's my favorite number, so I'm going to hope that we're going to go back to our 
Scar luck here and our Harley Quinn luck here. But I was really, really impressed with Poptopia's back, uh, box last week. I liked their note where it said, hey, you got a chase. I'm not expecting any of that now. But I was impressed enough to become a repeat customer. And I think that's their goal. So, hey. All right. So, let's go ahead and open this last box here in our mail call. And, yeah. All right. I don't know if I want to look and see. Oh, I forgot. Just like I did last week, I forgot that they wrapped these in their uh, brown wrappers. Uh, no note this time. So, oh, there's a note. I lied. All right. We got some wrapper. All right. And it says, congratulations, you got an exclusive. Keep calm and post on Instagram. That's all I can ask for. I love exclusives. I'm all about exclusives. And I will post that on my Rock and Pop Vinyls Instagram, just like I did last week. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and pull out both these. And just like I did with my Kronos boxes, I'm going to go ahead and uh, look away. I think I learned this trick from uh, Steven and Jessica on uh, Two Peas and a Pop. Check them out too, that's another channel. Oh, we got a... Oh wait, I forgot. They can see, yeah, they do all theirs in pop protectors. So let me see. Okay, so that's the bottom. That was probably my post-it saying I had box number 23. All right, so I'll show it to you guys. We'll turn it around and one, two, three. Oh, nice. Okay, I actually own this pop already. Um, this is not the exclusive. It's in a really nice uh, box. It's in great shape. I love the whole Venomized line. Um, matter of fact, I think this may, I think this may be my now my third Venomized Iron Man. So um, I'm definitely going to have probably a giveaway that includes him. He's still awesome. I mean, I just happen to have well, maybe one or two, but uh, he's great pop, great condition. He's in a pop protector and. Uh, Got my cool little number 23 on a <laughs> Rick post-it. That's kind of cool. But uh, thank you, Poptopia. That's awesome. Um, even though, like I said, even though it's a repeat, I can't complain. The quality, the uh, the box, I mean, it's great. Okay, so this will be the exclusive. So, yeah. All right, where are you focusing? It got a little fuzzy there. Okay, so here we go. Opening, we're in our pop protector. That's the bottom. That's the back. There you go, front. I'll do spin a Rooney here. Hopefully, hopefully. One, two, three, and. Oh, okay. So this is the uh, Hot Topic 11 exclusive from Stranger Things. I don't have this pop. Um, I was actually kind of staying away from this pop just because. It's about as boring as you can get. There is nothing fancy about this pop at all. She's just kind of hanging out there. Um, now, of course, I haven't seen season three yet. Season three airs this week. Look at that. All these plugs. I'm plugging freaking Netflix right now. But season three does start next week. Um, and I'll binge it because I love the show. Um, maybe I'll find out there's something special about this pop. Or is this just... Uh, a lame way of giving a hot topic a uh, exclusive, but uh, it's in great shape, and uh, I'm definitely gonna hit Poptopia again. I mean, I'm really impressed with the way they, how they handle these things, and how uh, they package, and I like the notes, and I like it's very professionally done. It's just, it's awesome. So I, I would have to say this overall, this episode. Very successful. Success here in my Out in the Wild. Success here. Other than... What is that? I mean, obviously there's a market for it, but what? Doorstop? I don't know. Anyway. I just don't get it. But it is what it is. Um, killed it on the Out in the Wild with the... Uh, American History Pops, 
picking up the lamest ass freaking. I mean, I like the pop, don't get me wrong, but man, lazy exclusive. But it'll fit with my collection. But that is gonna do it for uh, episode 26 of Rock and Pop Vinyls this week. Thank you all for uh, watching as usual. And like, if you like what I'm doing, hey, just go ahead and uh, like the video, comment, subscribe, please ring that bell. You'll get an alert every single time I drop a video. I'm planning on going on to probably a little bit of a different format. Um, I want to go to uh, probably two, three videos a week, shorter videos, just uh, maybe like on the spot videos. Um, with the, the heat being as, as intense as it is, I do have a lot of things just coming in through the mail, and I don't know, I, maybe maybe that'd be a good idea. But anyway, thank you again. I appreciate it more than you know, and I will see you uh, maybe sooner than later. We'll see when I start my uh, more episodes. All right, guys, you have an awesome, awesome time, awesome day. See you soon. Goodbye.